Hey everyone, it's M4J here and welcome back to Blue Vale here on City Skylines. And I know what you're all thinking. Where exactly in the city are we? This station didn't exist before. What if I told you we were in Blue Shores? Um, things have changed a little bit since the last episode. Let me show you what I've done. First of all, let me pause the game because things are running very slow at the moment. I think I'm starting to hit a ceiling somewhere in the game. But yeah, look. Blue Shores, that is where we are. And if I zoom out a little bit, you'll start to recognize some bits. So we've got the bus station over here. We've got the loop that I built last time out, which is now fully populated. I don't really know what happened. I just added some pipes and some electrical wiring and it started growing. So I figure that's working now. Um, I keep forgetting as well to change these. There we go. Right, this is a train. There we go. Blue Shores West, which is the newest station, or the second newest station here in Blue Vale. Um, as you can see, it has connections to the tram at the top here before it turns and heads up towards Elm Grove and uh, Dalton. Um, there is also going to be some bus connections here. They've not been built yet. There is a car park here that does get used. I don't mind that. I figured might as well let it. We've also got the bus rapid transit, which does stop here, I thought, but maybe it doesn't. I think it stops further around, actually. Um, it stops over here. That's where it stops, uh, with this lovely stop that digs into the building there. So I'm just going to uh, dezone that. There we go. And then we come into the newest area of the city. This is still technically part of Blue Shores, but this is Blue Beach, which is its own pedestrianized area. And besides... The main roads that you can see here that forms kind of like a, a weird eye shape kind of like a spider-man eye shape um, this is all pedestrian there is one little road up here as well which connects up here to Blue Beach station which is on the line from the yards which means we do now have trains running between the yards and Blue Beach and if I zoom out here a little bit you can see where the line goes to actually connect up which is really cool this line here, I'm tempted to actually have it join up with these over here, but run in a sort of roundabout way to get over there. Um, could potentially run up to the interchange, maybe uh, this one here, running along the water's edge and then up against the motorway and things like that. I don't know, that's possible. But yeah, I'm really happy with how that's worked out. Um, did have some issues when I was building that area because I had to redo some of the electrics in the waters and thing waters water system and things like that so we did lose quite a few buildings in and around um, I think old blue Bilston mostly survived but yeah Vale Park was heavily affected uh, there's something over there actually which I need to introduce you to in a second as well um, Blue Shores was heavily affected Belmont Hills Vale Point and the yards here was mostly okay and Vermont Heights and Elm Grove were mostly okay. But yeah, for some reason, Dalton got hit really, really hard. So things are slowly growing back um, as we speak here, which is fine. Now, we're here looking at these railway lines, and they're going to come into play a little bit later on in today's episode. First of all, though, let me introduce you to the other new part of the city. This is Moore Park. I said many episodes ago that um, wow, the game is really lagging really struggling here i don't know what's going on i might have to turn down my settings um to be honest because this is very annoying i mean maybe if i adjust my resolution to um uh, did that work <laughs> i have no idea if that actually saved or not i think it did there we go so things probably look even more like dirt for me but they might look better for you Things look blurry as heck for me. I'm playing on a 4K screen in 1080. Not the best. Um, but yeah, more park. So this, many episodes ago, we built this like square green. And I said something was going to go in here. For now, it's just a city park. You know, we've got some simple things like, you know, climbing frame, cafe, information, restrooms. Uh, did not mean to click that. Uh, plaza, chessboard. I think we've got trampolines over here and a climbing frame somewhere. And we've got a gazebo here which basically is a bandstand stuff like that which i think looks nice and we got the bus rapid transit right outside the main entrance which i think is perfect because people come out of here over the road straight into the park which is great 
it's uh, really cool, works really well. We have got other bus stops around, so I think there's one up on this corner maybe, and there's an entrance on the corner. There's another one over here. I like it. It's really good. There is actually a bus stop there as well on that section, so works really, really well. Right, today then, we're doing a couple of things. First of all, that resolution change does seem to have helped quite a bit, so I'm quite happy about that. Second of all, we're building a car park down here, first and foremost, for the docks. Um, how it's going to connect up to all this, I'm not 100% sure yet, but it does involve taking this road here and making it elevated, which is basically just converting it into an elevated road. We're also going to start constructing where the light rail station is going to go here. It's going to go somewhere in this gap here, and then potentially we might even build the rail underneath uh, over to here. But once, once it gets over here, I've no idea how it's going to connect, so maybe we'll leave that for now. Um, the other thing we're going to do today, and it's probably going to be somewhat in the inspiration for the title of this episode. The game is just having a moment today. I don't know what's going on. Um, is there anything else I can do? To... I could do that. Texture quality, which is not really what I wanted to do, because everything already looks pretty rubbish, but it's about to look even worse. And it's also now unresponsive, which is nice. The other thing I was going to do, um, I might as well tell you anyway, even though I can't show you, is I'm going to go and build the stadium section of the city. Stadium Point, I believe it's called. Um, over at the northernmost part of the city, if you can still see my cursor, which I don't actually think you can, because the game is having its thing. Um, I'm going to stop the recording here for a second. I'm going to try and work out what's going on here. When I come back, I'm going to be speed building the, uh, the car park over at the dock area. So uh, I will see you again shortly. Okay, here we go then with the new car park. Uh, again, I don't know what the game looks like on your screens. I think it actually looks okay still, but on mine it looks really blurry and cloudy and horrible because of the way I've had to uh, dumb down the resolution. Um, let me talk you through what we've got here anyway. So right now, this here is the site of the light rail station. It may move in the future, but right now I think this is a pretty decent place for it. It's kind of a transport interchange of sorts here. I would love to put it where the bus depot is actually and then move the recycling center, which could end up being a thing. 
but I've got the waste transfer facility here, so I wanted to kind of keep this stuff to get. Ah, uh, do you know what? The more I say it out loud, the more I realise actually I do want to move this. So I'm going to do it. We're going to move you. We're going to get rid of these power poles for a second. And I am going to scooch this across uh, once I've moved the track out of the way. Let's just do that for now. We'll move the track, uh, sorry, the depot over to here with this next to it. Even though we don't really need this, I'm going to move it anyway, because why not? The light rail station then is going to go adjacent to this road here. So if I go back to LRT, uh, or LRTT apparently, and I'm going to find it again, it is... I really wanted to put the island one in as well, but we might do that elsewhere. I think for now we're just going to go with the generic one with walls, and we're going to stick it in. Uh, if I could get it parallel to this, that would be great, but it's not looking likely. Could do there to there, though. That works, and then I can remove the central node here. Like so. And then from here, we should be able to... Actually, mm, the more I think about this, if I could get it from here over to here... There we go. And then one of these or both of these or neither of these is going to become the actual thing. Can I select the track, please? Weird that it's done that. Um, and then, yeah, you're going to come straight out behind the bus depot. That's awesome that that fits to there. Now, if I can remove the track and only the track. There we go. And then I should be able to use um, multi-tool here connect these back up there we go nice that actually worked a lot better than I thought which is nice uh, and then I can grab a new node in there and a new node in fact, if I do that that and then remove these other ones so remove you remove you and that becomes our station which is awesome. I like this a lot. So that one there, that one there. And then when the time comes, which will probably be on this side at least right now, I can remove that node there as well. And that's our station. How are we going to get passengers from one side to the other? I don't yet know. The island platform would have been good for that. And we might still do an island platform. It's not ruled out. Um, it's just the, the faff. The absolute faff. If I can find it again. Of having to put in the actual platform itself which is easier when your track is straight I'll give you that but it can also be a massive pain um, elsewhere so maybe if I did this we could potentially have the crossing there and it will come down via a pathway there that's possible if I do platform I think it is under here somewhere I don't know where there Nope, that's not it. It's somewhere. It is somewhere. I can't remember where. Maybe you just put a stop in and it does it for you. Maybe that's what actually happens. I can't remember now. I thought it was uh, its own thing, but maybe it's not. Anyway, we're, uh, we're making good progress here. I'm happy. Oh, platform marking. That's... Yeah, no, that's not what I wanted at all. Okay, maybe it doesn't exist. Maybe I'm making it up. We're making good progress. That's the main thing. So we got this done and we could hook it up here and it connects up to the bus. Now the reason the parking here is so big is because predominantly this is going to act as a um, park and ride for this part of the city as well. Uh, as you know people getting on and off cruise ships. So I figured why not sort of lean on it and make it suitable for both. I believe power here is still, oh it doesn't quite reach. Let's just do that for the sake of making that look good uh, I think power over here yeah it does just about reach but for the benefit of it reaching better I'm just going to move that over there we go much better um, and now we can move on and we can start looking at the stadium now it's been a while since I built a stadium in this game you might be able to tell um, I'm under the impression what are stadiums under this yes there we go so I'm under the impression that I actually bought more stadiums in the content creator pack 
Is that the case? Maybe I didn't actually buy the stadium. Oh no, here they are. Medium soccer stadium, city soccer stadium, baseball stadium, uh, American football. Got a couple of those. I think there's a cricket one, maybe as well. Timber box, which could be interesting. What's the capacity? Oh, 1,125. That's actually pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. And then there's a baseball park there. And then there's this massive one here that can hold 1,600 people. And then 1,300. Okay, there's possibilities. There's also the music venues here. So you've got the festival area itself. And then you've also got the fan zone, which is that one. Music club, which I think is new. Don't rem remember that. And then the broadcast building. The plan is to have like two or three stadiums in this area. Surrounded by the water, which is awesome. We're going to have a ferry dock somewhere up here, which is going to link back to the rest of the city, especially over to this point here. Uh, I thought that was a ship there, but no, it's not. Um, it's also going to link up to the yards as well, but the ferry terminal hasn't been placed there yet, along with some other key points in the city, uh, including possibly over at Dalton as well. Definitely down at Blue Shores, definitely down at Vale Point. Um, yeah. There's, there's potential there. Definitely potential there. But right now, I want to look at getting the main roads here into Stadium Point. Um, as well as potentially marking out the district that it's going to sit in. You can kind of see where it's going to go. It's along this brown line here and this brown line up here. So we're going to have things like parking, transport, the stadiums themselves. All that kind of stuff. All built within this area. We're also going to have a railway line that spurs out from one of these three here, because I believe that these are the bottommost three, and they are indeed. So that probably means that the line from the yards is actually going to extend outwards into Stadium Point as well. Um, so we're going to get all that planned out too. Right now, though, the priority, as I said, is getting this main road here up and around and into the area where it's going to join up with this main road. The tram is also going to come in, and there's going to be an avenue that goes right the way down to the bottom with car parks shooting off and stadiums shooting off. Um, and there's also going to be uh, the railway station as well. So let's see if I can get all this planned out and then we can start placing some stadiums down.
Okay, everyone, welcome to Stadium Point. Welcome to Stadium Point Heavy Rail Station. This is a station that I've used many times in the past. I love it. Uh, it looks awesome. It functions really well. I think it's perfect for this part of the city. It is a dead end here. Uh, I was tempted to have the tracks continue. Um, possibly from here they could continue, in fact, because the airport is going to be just over here, which will be built in an episode not too far from now. Um, there may also be a road that comes out of the stadium that goes up to the airport. This road here was originally going to continue to the airport, so potentially that's going to happen, in which case this road here would go straight down and connect up straight across, and then this one will come out towards the airport. But this might end up being the only way in and out. I don't know yet. Um... This rail here will change in the future. Right now, we've just got this flyover, which I think looks pretty cool. Um, and we got the other lines connecting. I am going to build some junctions across here, which is why I've got this middle line here be the one that goes out that way. Uh, the other two lines don't go anywhere yet. I think having six lines come out of there, it seems like a, a good thing on the surface, but I think it's actually going to be a bit of a nightmare. So we'll have to see how that works out. Um, but yeah, look, we got over here the Glass Eye, which I believe is an American football stadium. Yes, it is. Uh, up here, we've got the uh, the Timber Box, which is the football stadium. There will be a baseball stadium somewhere as well. I was tempted to build it in here, but I went with uh, Blue Vale Fest over here instead, which is the festival site. Um, but yeah, I do want one more stadium somewhere. It could end up being along this road here. One thing I will say is we have plenty of stadiums right now. Um, a lot of stadiums. Almost too many stadiums, one might say. I could potentially build it there. What's that one? Is that baseball? Yeah, that's baseball with a thousand capacity. Oh, there's Arrow Park, which is one and a half thousand. Oh, that could be good. If I could squeeze that in there, or if there's anywhere else in the site here where I could squeeze this in, that could work pretty well. Maybe... I was going to try and squeeze it in there, but no. But for, I think for now, I could put it here. That works. We'll have to smooth the, the land around it, but that works. Um, so yeah, Arrow Park. We'll call it that. We'll give them like a dark blue. You see, every, every stadium's got a different shade of blue. And it's not just because I can't remember which shade of blue I've used each time. Um, I think it actually gives the, the teams a bit of their own unique identity, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm also going to quickly, that's kind of done it for me there, but um, yeah, just stretch this out a little bit more. There we go, that works well, although it's created a thing there that I didn't want. Can I fix that? Nope. Hang on. If I just say middle, nope. Oh, please tell me I haven't screwed this up. That's annoying if I have. Surely not. Probably there's a way of fixing that. Uh, let's put it back to custom. Let's do... Oh, blue, I can't move. Okay, that's annoying. That's actually very annoying. Oh, well, that's uh, something to bear in mind. Whoops. There we go. Um, so there's one more thing that I would like to try and get done today. Uh, besides fixing this. The, uh, the other thing I would like to do is um, get the tram here working. There is also going to be a tram stop under here, by the way, although that's not ideal. The way that's right in the middle of the thing now. If I move that across, there we go. That's better. Uh, I am going to fix the node under there at some point to spread it out a little bit more. Um, also, the one over here. Spread it out a bit more than the one over there for the whole roundabout thing. There is a bus station as well that I'm going to build over here somewhere. Possibly even in this gap here. Um, and then the buses can come down round and in. That would work quite nicely actually. If I could get a bus station in. Maybe if I use these side streets here as a guide that could work pretty well. Um, but yeah, the tram line. That's what I would like to get in right now. So the tram that runs down through Bilston. Um, and then it gets to here and it does split. Half of it's going to go this way and it's going to end up in um, Vale Shores. Where it's going to go from there, I don't know. It might even just terminate in Vale Shores, to be honest. The other half is going to run this way. 
and then possibly down this way. And then somewhere here, it's going to cross over the river, uh, skirt the edge of Elm Grove here, and then it's going to somehow connect up to this over here. Now, yeah, I've got time in this episode, I reckon, to get this tram line connected up, even if it's only temporary for now, just so we can start running some trams to and from the, uh, the stadium point here. I think that would be beneficial. I'm just looking to see... Yeah, I reckon I could put a tram stop here for the University Stadium as well, which is the Blue Vale Institute Alligators, of course, which is also American football. So you can imagine they graduate from here and they go and play down at the Glass Eye. That's pretty cool. Uh, something else I'll do off camera is I'll put some pathways around the edge here uh, and possibly build the ferry terminal, which I think is going to be either up here or maybe down here, close to the, the railway and the bus and the tram and everything. And also if I build it down here, it's also quite close to the arena. I think this is quite central, this one here. Having the tram come right up to the end here would be good for match days uh, at either of these stadiums here. But for everything else, this is sort of the central point, which works quite well, actually. Um, so I'm kind of happy with that placement. There will be other miscellaneous things dotted around the area here. I don't know what right now, but I would like to use the space for something. But yeah, right now... Let's have a look at this tram. Let's see if we can get this connected and working. Alright, and that, I believe, is the tram line fully connected, unless I've missed a bit out, which, knowing me, I probably have. But, uh, yeah, I, I think there's improvement in some areas, possibly. Um, that's something that I may look to do in a future episode. Let's just quickly connect these lanes up again. I was meant to do that off camera just now and completely forgot. Uh, so that one to that one. Uh, wait, no, sorry, that one to this one that one to that one this one over here this one over here uh, this one straight ahead this one to the left and then um, whoops this one technically everywhere or at least straight down and straight along I'm gonna have to redo the traffic lights for this as well but I'll do that after I finished recording as for the tram, it's pretty obvious where that goes. I think this is tram only, this road. Hopefully it is. It's quite a steep slope there, but I think we'll get away with it. We'll just say the trams have a bit of a run up on that, uh, that bit there. That'll uh, 
that'll work itself out I'm sure um, let's connect these up as well so again you to you you to you and I think it's this one that goes across there and then it's this one no this one that goes across to there I'm pretty certain that's correct and everything else here I think is accurate it looks like it is maybe that one actually went northwards Ooh. Actually, yeah, the more I look at that, the more I think that is what it did. So we'll disconnect you and we'll swing you around like this and hope that that is indeed what you actually used to do. Um, over here as well, we'll just connect these up real quick. I think I can do that with, yeah, that works. We've also now connected the stadium up, which is lovely. So here the tram and the road separate and go their separate ways to where they're going. Um, having this here as a, an avenue, that's probably going to change in the future. But these are going to connect underneath to these roads. And then there's also going to be some kind of waterside development. I haven't decided what yet, but something's going to exist over here. Uh, and we've also got this new tram stop up here as well, which I think is going to be very popular once this line is up and running. I also love the way the tram flies over this roundabout now. That's really cool. It's kind of akin to what I want the light rail to do as it runs through the city centre. Um, and yeah, just happy. Again, like I said, it's not necessarily final, what you're seeing right now. But for the most part, this is how it's going to look when it's done. Um, I'm just very quickly going to fix this before I move on. Because I feel like, yeah, this isn't doing what it's supposed to, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, what have I got? It is in this see if I can get it and line it up how I want it uh, where is it either that or I could just do one manually which you know is also possible uh, there it is reversible tram and it fits just like this technically it fits just like that which is nice and then I should be able to draw this straight across uh, see it's not quite exact which is a little annoying but it'll do uh, and then somewhere I thought I had one um, one of these avenues without the uh, the trees but I guess I don't I suppose I could build this one in now what would be cool is if I could upgrade this as well but I cannot uh, so I need to find one that's a bit like that, which is some kind of asymmetric road. And again, I'm sure I have one. I've got one like this. If I then did that, that actually doesn't fit, which I find quite surprising. There must be a road that this is. If I do this, I must have it. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Much better. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that bit there, but screw it, whatever. Um, and then this bit over here, I could just nudge this node over a little bit, but it actually kind of looks fine the way it is. So I'm just going to leave it and we're going to get the tram line set up and then we can call this an episode. So for this tram line, I'm tempted to have it for now at least just start at the yard and then head up to the stadium. I think that will work well for what I'm doing here. So let's grab this we're going to have it start opposite the uh this the one there that terminates and then we're going to run down here we're going to have a stop probably here just before the hop over i think that's a good distance and then one just after the hop over which is also i think a good distance um i think actually one there would have been good too but never mind one there definitely one here definitely the next one is going to be uh, just here, the other side of the, um, oh wait, no, oh, yeah, sorry, just here, the other side of the crossing that we've got here between the uh, tram and the trolley, which I think is kind of cool as well. Then we go up the hill and over here to Bilston, and then up here to Bilston North, I guess, I don't really know what that one will be called. And then stop under here, under the uh, the railway, and then finally, um, 
if I can find the right platform. There. Where's it gone? Can't select it. That's weird. There. Um, that's just a force of habit, by the way, in case you're wondering, to have it on this side so that it reverses and is already on the right side of the road. That's why I do that. There's no other reason. Just me being pedantic. Uh, okay. Back down here then. Back to Bilston. Back to Bilston again. And then up here to the stadiums, which probably don't need stops there really, but we've got them anyway. Over to here. Um, over to here, down this way, like so, up and over the water, like so, and then back here. Uh, I accidentally unpaused the game then when I was meant to pause it. So you are, I believe, T4. I think for now you're not really going to be that popular. So I think I'm just going to get the central link trams, which are the three car ones. Uh, I'm going to reduce the number of vehicles on the line as well. That will work. There we go. How many are we going to get? Uh, oh, you're the wrong... Oh, no, you are the right depot. 26. That's quite a lot, actually. I think we, we're in a, a unique situation here where there aren't many stops on the line, but the line itself is actually quite long. Um, and because of that, we end up with lots of vehicles. I am just going to come over here quickly as well and rename you to Belmont. Tram depot. There we go. Right. One last thing then. Uh, I'm sure you can guess what it is because we built the first part of the connection and we didn't build the second. What on earth has happened over here? Yeah, we seem to have a, a glitch with vehicles. Where vehicles just um, stop randomly. I think that's one of the reasons why the game's lagging as well because we've got loads of people just stuck, not going anywhere. That, that would make a lot of sense. I'm going to pause the game quickly just while that sorts itself out. Also, how many people have got on that? 111. Eh, we could do with more. Um, yeah, we need to water this area. I'm going to do that off camera. That's absolutely fine. But the one thing I am going to do on camera right now is set up a line between um, Dalton over here, the interchange, and the stadium. Because, again, I think having trains running in would be a good idea. What's that? Oh yeah, that's the modular station. We're not gonna dwell on that too much. Um, eventually this will be an extension of the line from the yards, but right now I'm just gonna do it like this because it's gonna be easier. That, that, and you, and you are just for now HR, uh, I think you're actually technically 1A. So I'm just gonna do HR 1A. Dalton station, that's fine. And then for type, we're gonna go for I guess a five car uh, class 710 again. And there we go. So they're going to run to and from. Maybe one will spawn in a second. I don't know. Not really bothered right now. Um, but that's it. That'll do for this episode. We've got quite a lot done, as you can see. I'm very, very happy with the amount we've got done. I love the fact that we've got these three stadiums with their own unique identities. You can imagine almost they were built at different times as well, which is technically going to be true in the law of the city we got the huge car park here for the glass eye and then this one over here would have been built for the timber box and then these three over here for the arrow park and then this section of car parking here would have been built when the arena was constructed and you may have seen as well and um, something i forgot to mention earlier the fan zone for the arena i put the second one over here I guess that's fine. <laughs> it does seem a little random to have them there, but yeah, I guess that's fine. Um, oh, wow. Maybe this line is more popular than I thought. Hmm. Potentially some food for thought there. Um, but yeah, between episodes then, I'm going to build the bus station over here at Stadium Point. I might do a little bit of tweaking and stuff as well, because we've got this huge area. Um... Things do seem quite spaced apart, so maybe I'll do some other stuff over here as well, give people a reason to actually come over. Uh, in the past, I've built things like amusement parks and stuff like that in order to make that be a thing, so maybe we'll do that. Uh, I'm also tempted to try and get more university students because we keep losing them. Um, so maybe I'll build more accommodation or something for that. I don't know right now. 
would be good if I could actually find out where they're all going. Because that is a little concerning. Also, what are you? Oh, yeah, you're the security building. I thought that was a house then. That's weird. Um, but, yeah, that'll do for now, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And, of course, if you're enjoying the series so far, drop those comments down below with ideas for future episodes. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you for your continued support. It's very, very much appreciated. Um, feel free to check out things like my Patreon as well and my social media if you want to follow me on all of that stuff uh, and support me on Patreon. It's always very much appreciated as well. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your evening. And until next time, I will see you soon.